becomes equal in this. Like, I saw Schindler's List on TV mm -hmm. uh, a few nights ago. And it, Schindler's List, when it came out, it was a big deal. Huge deal, yeah. And now it's just on TV. It's just something that you're just flipping around and you see a movie with Dudley Moore and Kirk Cameron switching bodies. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that one where they're like, he, they're father and son and they switch bodies. Sure. So all of a sudden, Kirk Cameron was like a teenager, grow, wakes up in his father's 40 year old body with his fully formed penis and everything. <laughs> And now Dudley Moore's in a little boy. I mean, this isn't what the, they said the movie was about. But it wasn't the focus of the movie. Okay, let me just speed ahead to what I was going to say. <laughs> so you're, you're flipping around. Ah, what the hell you're, happened there? You're, you're yeah. flipping around. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, Schindler's List is like, you come in the middle of it, and it's on TBS, and there's a little right. stripe at the bottom showing the guy on the next show, you know, yeah. dancing at the room. Conan's back. Conan's after, coming, and I'm <laughs> yeah. dancing around. You're like, you're Here's this Oscar-winning, <laughs> yes. respected movie, and I'm at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> coming up next, you yeah. know. Yeah. And, uh, but I was watching Schindler's List, and this moment happened that right, it just stuck with me. It's a scene where the, all the Jews are being thrown out of Warsaw, and it's very sad, and they're going down the street, and there's these uh, Polish people that aren't Jewish watching them leave. Right. And one of them is a little girl, and she's about seven years old, and she's uh, on a mailbox, and she's very cute, and she's yelling, Goodbye, Jews! Goodbye, Jews! And right. this really left an impression on me, and probably on the Jews that she was yelling at, too. <laughs> because... I think it's real. I it's think a that very happened. powerful moment. Yeah. Yes, and I think it probably really happened, and somebody told Spielberg about that, and, and he was like, we're doing that in the movie. So <laughs> he made that scene, which means he had to find a little girl to play that little girl. He had to find a little cute girl who could yell, goodbye, Jews, at grown-ups. Right. And that's a really... And I know how movies are made, so I know somewhere there's a tape of, like, 50 little girls <laughs> all <laughs> trying really hard. Trying to get the goodbye Jews part. Right. And they're all adorable. They're yeah. adorable. Or because, some of them aren't so good at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's no there's no kid actors that are like, you know, Sean Penn, can I work from within? They're all adorable. They're right. all they're cute. All, they're all, right, right. There's a tape somewhere of little girls. Hi, my name is Anne Marie, and I'm with William Morris. Goodbye, Jews. <laughs> goodbye, Jews. <laughs> Anne Marie, we need a little more anger. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodbye, Jews. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> next. And there's another girl. Goodbye, Jew. Goodbye, Jew. <laughs> okay, next. And then comes the girl who's amazing, and her mother has prepared her for months. She knows how to walk in the room. Hi, my name is Louise, and I am really happy to meet you. <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Bet your... We just need the line, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodbye, Jews! <laughs> We are, she got the part. We are sadly we are out of time, but I must I, I must show this clip. I must oh, show this yes. clip from Louie and. Uh...